What's up, everybody? John the Murfreesboro guy here from Murfreesboro.com. Uh, in this video, we got the bird, uh, the bird, the building permit report. I, I can talk, I swear, uh, for March and April. Uh, my apologies for missing March. We've been really, really busy. I wasn't able to get to it in time, so I'm combining March and April into one video here. Uh, put everything in a nice spreadsheet for you. Hopefully, be able to follow uh, in the in the video here. So, um, but before we get to that, I do got to put, uh, put this up there real quick. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our mobile texting alerts. Uh, that we send out every day in the morning, Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. in the morning. Simply text NEWS to the number at the bottom of the screen, 615-813-6016. And that uh, subscribes you to our mobile news alerts that we send out every day so you can keep up with the news and what's going on around town and all the posts that we make. So, all right, getting to it. All right, I'm just going to jump right into it. We got first off, we're going to go into March real quick. Simple little spreadsheet here for you to be easier to follow. We got the total number of permits, 152. We got the new SFD, which is single family detached units, which is 140 permits, uh, comprised of that 152. We got a new zero lot line or duplex units. There were four of those. And then townhome units, there were 57 total townhome units, um, permits that were filed. And then everybody's favorite apartments, zero. No apartment permits for the month of March. Goose egg. Nothing, nada. All right. So I know everybody watching always likes to hear the apartment one. So anyways, um, but the total valuation and all that, there was a lot of permits you can see right there, over 64, almost $65 million worth of residential construction uh, from all those permits. And then uh, moving on down to the bottom of the screen, you can see March, uh, the commercial permits. There were 11 new commercial permits filed, as well as two permits for public buildings which we'll get to those in a second. Total valuations, uh, 12.7, almost $13 million in construction cost for that. So jumping over to the next spreadsheet here for March. Sorry, it's probably kind of small, hard to read. I tried to put it all in one screen here. But here, let me try this. There we go. Hey, welcome back. All right. Um, so there's, you can see in the spreadsheet there, there's 11 of them total. We got uh, Carter's Retreat um, uh, mail kiosk. There's a uh, Kingdom Crest shell building, which remember the shell buildings are usually those buildings that house like four, five, six, seven, eight different businesses in, in, in inside those. So like the one on Memorial that's going up next to Dunkin' Donuts, everybody's writing in asking what's going there. I'll get to that one. Don't worry. Uh, but there's several in there, including a walk-in clinic, care now walk-in clinic. So, um, but that's what shell buildings are. So uh, we got, and then moving on down, you got life storage, um, uh, Murfreesboro New Construction. You can see the address there. And then, of course, in the spreadsheet, you can you can keep up with the valuations in that fourth column and then the actual description of what it is on the fifth column all the way to the right. Um, and then we got, uh, there's Mankin Point Pavilion, about the sixth one down. Uh, was that Pretoria Falls Subdivision Mail Kiosk? Another mail kiosk there for checking your mail, community mail. And then um, the, the next three are all from 840 Storage Solutions, building A, B, and C. Same place, different buildings, obviously, A, B, and C, one, two, three, right? Okay. Same address. You can see the valuations there on those. And then the Take 5 oil change, new construction on South Church Street right in front of Kroger, which is actually, we did an update on that one already. Uh, if you want more info on that, I'll put a link in the uh, comments below. So check that out. And then uh, moving on to the public buildings right here. You can see a little easier, bigger spreadsheet there because there's only two of them. But we got Jordan Farms, restro uh, restrooms, new construction at 1233 Cherry Lane, which is uh, just over 700000 in valuation. And that must be one heck of a bathroom set up for $700,000. Must be really nice. So Jordan Farms, and holding you to that. But um, And then Rutherford County, one stop at Blackman, uh, which is $5.1 million in valuation at 3906 Blaze Drive. Now, if you all remember, those, um, the one-stop buildings, there's several of them going up throughout Rutherford County, which is like for the first responders to use and store equipment and things like that. We did an update on those several weeks ago. Um, I'll post a link to that as well if you want more information on that. So now moving over to April. Let's try this one. Here you go. So... April residential permits. We got the number of permits, 98 total permits. And of that in the columns, as you can see, as you go down is what comprises all those. We got the new, uh, the new single family detached units. So there's 86, um, zero lot lines or duplex units. There were six of those 55 townhome units. And again, zero apartments for a total unit number of 147 with $52 million worth of residential construction there. That was a big month last month. And then uh, April commercial permits, 
Um, there were three new construction permits, zero public buildings with 22 million in valuation on the construction for that. And then, so I'll just jump straight over to commercial. Here we go. Big spreadsheet for you. A big chunk of that commercial, as you can see, is the Ascension St. Thomas West Lawn Hospital new construction, which it says 2021. That's when, um, you know, when they file for everything, sometimes the permit takes a while. So it was filed back in 2021, but it's come through for the permit. They're going to start construction, which we are going to have updates on that as we go. Uh, valuation of $16.5 million in construction uh, at the hospital for that one. And then the second one down, we got Parkway Place, Lot 6 Shell Building. Again, Shell Buildings. Again, one more time, if you remember, these shell buildings are buildings that house multiple businesses in there, usually four, five, six, up to 10, however many. So whenever it says shell building, that's what it means. Uh, at 1.6 million valuation at 3939 Richard Reeves Drive, suite A through J. I believe that's 10. Wait, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. There you go. There's 10 of them there, right there, A through J. So 10 unit shell building. And then this one, I'm going to have to go check this one out myself. I'm interested to see what this is. Pet Paradise, the last one down from the bottom. Uh, Murfreesboro 2022 at 2500 right out lane, which I believe is right over at old time pottery at almost a $4 million valuation. So pet paradise Murfreesboro, is this like a pet spa, a little doggy day spa or a pet store or something? I, I don't know, but I will find out because uh, I'm sure you've seen through all our videos. I like the animals. So I'll go check that one out for you and see if I can find more information on that. So all righty. Well, there you go. That's it for the building permit report. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll answer them as best to my knowledge. Uh, we got a lot more building permits uh, reports coming up. And to answer a question, I still get this every day. People writing in asking what's going on on South Church Street, um, right next to the interstate, next to the gas station. That's where the new Popeye's location is going to be. So I get at least one of those every day of people. What's this? What's this? And uh, so we posted about it a while ago, but now, you know, again, it's the Popeye's location. Um, Working on an update for Whataburger. When I get an update for that, I'll post about it. And I haven't heard anything on the Bucky's location just yet. Yes, the permit, I mean, everything's going through planning. It's all, everything, all that's still good to go. Just I haven't heard any updates on it. So when I hear an update on Bucky's, you'll hear an update on Bucky's. So there you go. Um, that's it. I'm going to stop right there. So thanks for watching as always. I appreciate it. Now go put a smile on somebody's face today. Thanks, everybody. See you on the next one.